What's up everyone, it's Synchron here and today I'll be bringing you my Odd Eyes Pendulum deck profile with cards such as Pendulum Fusion, the new manga card from the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V manga and other cards just to make this deck have a bit more comeback power if worse comes to worse. So all that said, let's get started. Uh, starting off the monsters, definitely want to run three Arc Dragon. If a face-up Odd Eyes card you can totally destroy by battle or card effect, you get a free special summon. Of an odd-eyes monster from your hand, deck, or grave. Obviously, all ones return while it's in the pendulum zone. Next up, three odd-eyes pendulum dragon. Basically, if you, you re yeah, reduce the battle damage you take involving a uh, a pendulum monster you control and a mo an opponent's monster to zero, end phase, pop it, search a pendulum monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. If this card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage your opponent takes is doubled. Next up, to Phantom, and if a no, uh, when it, uh, ah, sorry, if an attack is nah, when your monster battles an opponent's monster while it's going to the pendulum zone, if you have an odd eyes monster in your other pendulum zone, you can make that monster you control gain 1200 attack and monster effect. When this card is pendulum summoned infl and inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can inflict 1200. Points of damage to your opponent for every odd eyes monster in no odd eyes yeah odd eyes monster in your pendulum zone. So if anything, if you have two, you're more than likely gonna burn them for twenty four hundred eye point damage. Next up, two persona, map monster effect. What's return? Quick effect. Target a face up card no face up monster on the field that was special someone from the extra deck. Negate its effects. Pendulum effect. Once we're no pendulum effect during the end phase. If a if your opponent activated a card or effect that targeted face up odd eyes, pendulum monster you control and no other monsters. Special summon this card from the pendulum zone. And if you and if you do that, place a face up odd eyes monster from your extra deck into one of your pendulum zones. <clears throat> Next up, three supreme king. Pretty simple. It's if it's normal summon special summon search a supreme gate. And if it's in the grave, you basically special summon it while you have no monsters on your side of the field. And yeah, Supreme King just as the target. Put it in the pendulum zone, whatever you want to do. Uh, whew, two out of Lancer Dragons. Pretty easy to get out when it comes to Arc Dragon, but if you want, it basic, um, its first summoning requirement, if you want to go this route, is if a, if a pendulum monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, tribute of one monster, special summon this card from your hand. And if this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate card spell of traps during the end phase. And finally, if a odd eyes card you control would, would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target no, you can destroy one odd eyes card in your hand, monster zone, or pendulum zone. And again, if you didn't use Arc Dragon, <clears throat> uh, Arc Dragon's effect during this turn, just another easy special summon if you want, or just getting more odd eyes monsters in your extra deck to set up Phantasm plays. What this card does is basically when it battles an opponent's monster, you can make that opponent's monster lose a thousand point um a thousand points of attack. No, a thousand attack points per um, face up pendulum monster in your extra deck. So basically, say you have two face-up monsters in your, no, face-up pendulum monsters in your extra deck, your opponent's monster that this card's battling loses a thousand attack, yeah, you know, so on and so forth. But this card's really easy to summon. I would actually run two if I had copies of it. But if you have two cards in your pendulum zone and a face-up odd eyes, uh, and, and a face-up odd eyes pendulum monster in your extra deck, you can special summon this card from your hand, but you you know you cannot pendulum summon during the turn you activate this effect. So, in a sense, that's kind of the downfall. But if you have the right number of monsters in your extra deck, this card really isn't gonna like that's not really gonna matter. Uh, it's pendulum effect. You can discard one card, add a face-up dragon pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. So you know, nice recycle in case worst comes to worst, and. I'm never really gonna explain these cards because I hardly use them. One noble dragon because if a face up odd eyes card, uh, level seven, um, odd eyes monsters on the field, you reduce this level by three. So I summon this card. You can either go for a level seven synchro play or a link summon of the uh, metal foes link monster. I up a form pal, uh, odd eyes synchron. If this card is in the pencil zone, target a face up odd eyes monster you control. Um, make it level two, level one, and make it a tuner. Uh, for the Chris, for the um, what's it called, the the Supreme King, 
uh, clearing place or if you want uh, if you have a level five or lower monster in your pendulum zone while this when this card is normal summon special summon it if you want then go for the go for a synchro play go for a a link play whatever you guys feel like it and you know just finishing it off with um the uh, darkness water dragon easy special summon easy recycle and all the good stuff all right so now off to the spells we don't really run traps in here i was gonna run three of the um no i was gonna run two of the tyro wing but i had to make more room to, for better cards so yeah two sky iris the heart and soul of the deck this card doesn't allow your opponent to target magician or perform a power or odd ice cards in your pendulum zone with card effects but you know you could with this card especially target a face up target one other face up card you control destroy it if you do add a odd eyes card from your deck to your from your deck to your hand so basically almost the whole deck searcher it's crazy two terraforming just to get out the sky iris a lot faster three spiral flame strike definitely the best card uh definitely the best searcher of the deck when the worst comes to the worst add a level seven or higher odd eyes monster from your deck to your hand or a level seven or higher pendulum monster uh odd eyes pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand and if you do control a odd eyes card say in your pendulum zone target a card on the field and destroy it next up definitely i definitely <laughs> okay so when making this deck profile i thought to myself this is gonna be weird but then i looked at how many cards i could search with this and i just lost my mind three duelist alliance if there if there is a card in the pendulum zone add a face up no add one pendulum pendulum monster or pendulum spell or trap from your deck to your hand basically adding the pendulum arc dragons the pendulum odd eyes or pendulum paradox pendulum fusion and yeah that's about it <laughs> but you know just getting that easy search power a lot and just getting them a lot faster in case in case you don't have the resources to dig dig through your deck all right so yeah um and you know the majority of this deck is dark so lure darkness isn't really gonna hurt the deck next and you know like i said the um duelist alliance searcher no duelist alliance target pendulum paradox basically add two face up pendulum monsters with the same scale but different names from your extra deck to your hand so in case you need to get like a couple odd eyes back from your deck to your from your extra deck to your hand you can do that um odd eyes fusion um special summon a dragon a dragon fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control uh no sorry monsters from your hand or field as material and if your opponent controls two or more monsters than you do and, uh, and you control no monsters you can also use two odd eyes monsters from your extra deck as fusion material <laughs> easy searchable with sky iris and you can just go from there if anything just go for vortex pendulum fusion this is the card used for starving venom if i'm correct because if the if the car if the odd eyes car if the odd eyes pendulum monsters are in your and your pendulum zone you should be able to use this to get to get starving venom because they're all they are on the field but anyway, if you just summon a fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as material, if there are two or more cards in the pendulum zone, you can also use cards in the pendulum zone as well. Again, I'm pretty sure it should work for summoning venom. If not, you go for a vortex or um, maybe got lingual. We'll see. <laughs> uh, dragon shrine just for the sending of the arc dragon and um, dark worm from the deck to the grave. Return a Dragon Lord, target Arc Dragon in your grave, supposed to summon it, banish it, protect your dragons from being destroyed by battle or card effect during that turn. And here's the way, right, hold on. Uh, Foolish Barrel, and I actually wanted to end this off with a weird card, but I feel like it's necessary when it comes to OTKs or just like getting over big boss monsters. Fang of Critias. Now, the reason why we run this is because we run, we run the Fusion Red Eyes claw of hermos fusion card the one where it's like um a monster equipped with this card gains a thousand attack and 500 defense for every dragon monster on the field and in the graves so in a sense the reason why the only reason why we run this card is really for just 
the OTK and push for game reason. But yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie, it's actually pretty fun. Alright, so for this final, for the extra, we're just gonna speed it along. Uh, you know, like one Vortex Dragon, easy way to get out. One Storm Venom, one Red Eye Sword just for the OTK, one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst with the Noble Dragon Magician, one Supreme King Clearing, one Absolute for the rank 7, Big Eye for the rank 7, <laughs> Angel Might for the link 2, and finally Zephyra for the link 3. But that's all I have for today. Granted, yeah, the extra deck was a little bit anticlimactic because there were some cards I had to take out last minute, realizing that they actually couldn't be made in the deck. Maybe not this deck because it's more of like a dra the pure dragon variant. But the next build, I'm definitely going to run a more odd eye slash is a odd eye slash magician build when I can and definitely when dual power comes out I might throw some cards in there into that next deck profile but all that said I hope you all enjoyed if you have any different opinions by all means make it you uh, make it into your own build comment it down below if you want share the video give it a like tell me what you think and see you all next time